Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Vuitton from south of France and I, I invented uh, the Tiovicture uh, 13 years ago to help by mechanical assistance to manage canalite disorders. I treated since at that time about 25,000 disease patients. I am speaking there about uh, re revisiting uh, theory for classic uh, lateral canalitiasis. Here this slide to show you the various size of the particles. You have there a little straight that show a 10 micrometer size and here about 30 micrometer sized particles. Regarding that one, this is about 3 or 4 micrometer sized. You can imagine that uh, the uh, speed of displacement will be different and uh, the symptoms that will accompany the displacement of these particles thanks to gravity will be different. This paper uh, was published in 2003 and uh, shown thanks to a mathematical model that it needs about about uh, 62 autoconia of 10 micrometer size to reproduce the same symptoms that we used to observe in classic posterior canal BPPV. The question is what, so, uh, what happened uh, between 1 to 62 particles. We made two years ago with a laboratory specialized in fluid mechanics a new mathematical model to uh, study the speed of the displacement of the particles thanks to gravity in a straight canal um, put it in a vertical position 20 uh, millimeters long. It shows that uh, it needs about 70 minutes for a 3.5 micrometers particle to go from the cupola to the exit of the canal. In the same, uh, for the same trip, a uh, particle of uh, 30 micrometers take about 30 seconds and a 5 micrometers particle takes about 30 minutes. Here you see a right lateral canal um, represented uh, from the, the top of the head with the cupola um, in red and uh, little particles uh, are uh, near from the exit of the canal. So in this position, this group of particles will give some uh, pressure that uh, will push the cupola and uh, will give some geotropic form. You have to be aware that this group of particles is very uh, little and uh, if it needs about 70 minutes to make 20 millimeters, it will take about 15 minutes in this position to reach the deepest point. It means that it could uh, produce a geotropic nystagmus during about 15 minutes. In this position, the particles are grouped near from the cupola but are not sticked to the cupola. The position of these particles will tend to pull the cupola thanks to their presence, but not to, uh, uh, to be sticked on the cupola. So, uh, the same for the precedent slide. This group of particles will need to take about 15 minutes to reach the deepest point of this canal in this position. So, during about 15 minutes, the patient will present a nystagmus beating apogeotropic. In this position, it is after the patient has made some head movements and dispersed the particle all along the canal. So, in this situation, the patient will not present any nystagmus, any positional nystagmus, but it will uh, be disabled during head movement in the horizontal plane because the lateral canal will stimulate differently uh, the cupola during the rotation because of uh, an higher weight in the side with particle located in the canal. I'm going to speak about an hypothesis uh, to explain some atypical presentation of canalitis disorders. 
we uh, regularly observe some symptoms after uh, uh, after being treated uh, after that the patient have been treated for posterior canal BPPV and uh, we we like to call that post BPPV autolithic syndrome uh, some patients also present some motion sickness that could be linked to um, canalite disorders. We uh, used to see some nausea and trouble vision, and sometimes unsteadiness and drunkenness sensations. The hypothesis is that it could be linked to some um, presence of very little particles, especially in the lateral canal and uh, it uh, makes the density of the canal uh, increasing the endolymphatic colon of liquid become sensitive uh, to uh, the position of the canal and uh, the um, stimulation of the both cupula of the lateral canal become asymmetric and it will give some uh, sensation that uh, will be disabling during head movement or head position while looking upward downward and making some head rotation in the horizontal plane. This uh, hypothesis is shown as on this slide that if there is some particles in the lateral canal um, these particles will uh, lead to um, make some sensation while uh, the vehicle makes some uh, braking because uh, the particles will tend to go uh, toward the front of the car so toward cupula and will stimulate the cupula and uh, gives uh, uh, like a geotropic uh, form nystagmus in this situation, uh, when the car is turning to the left, this is a, a right lateral canal which is uh, represented, seeing from uh, the top, um, this uh, right lateral canal, um, when the car is turning to the left, uh, the, you see the group of canalites will tend to go, um, thanks to centrifugal centrifugal force will tend to give some uh, stimulation of the cupula and push the cupula and the patient will feel dizzy while the car is turning to the left. Here it is the same when the car is turning to the right but the force is in the opposite side but will stimulate also the, um, the cupula and will pull the cupula. Now, the, the process to explain uh, the disabling sensation while looking upward. Here you see the vector of, uh, of displacement of this group of particles will pull the cupula. And the same patient uh, will feel dizzy while looking downward because this group of particles, we have a vector that will push the cupula. Thank you.